This is a special report. Some breaking news for you now. FEMA is getting ready for 10,000 deaths in the wake of a Pacific mega quake. Yes, according to CBS News, scientists say it's only a question of when, not if, a devastating earthquake followed by a huge tsunami will strike the, con the continental United States right in the Pacific Northwest. What's up chicos and chicas watching us? Um, we wanted to take this video a little bit different from any from other videos that we've done when we do blogs and we do you know outings for the family and and different things that we go to. Uh, I have a trip planned out for this weekend so that's gonna be in our next blog but we wanted to take more of a serious matter into this blog. Um, you know we live in Oregon in the Northwest and for some time now, I've been here living in Oregon for, for quite some time, over over 15 years. My wife has been here for about three or four years now. Um, and, and the thing is that we've been hearing more and more each day as it goes by that the um, big one is supposed to hit the Northwest and the West Coast. Um, and you might be like, what's the big one? Well, the big one is, is what scientists are calling the major. Um, like major earthquake that's going to yeah. happen here in the northwest or in the west coast it's supposed to be an 8.0 or even a 9.0 9.2 9, yeah 9.2 on a richer scale which is significantly like huge i mean that's you go back to the california earthquake was only like seven point something i think it's and, um it's similar to the one in japan no well japan, japan was only seven point zero or mm -hmm. seven point something or it, was it eight point something? I don't they know. They say there is one. There was. I don't know when, but it was a big one in Japan. So, the one that hit Japan was off the coast of Japan, and it caused this huge tsunami, and it caught people mm -hmm. off guard, mm -hmm. and people were not prepared for this. So, we we've been alarmed because lately it's been going. It's been it's becoming like a lot of news here for us. Um, we just noticed that last week, Washington did a huge drill. For a mega quake. It's called Cascadia Rising. Okay, that's the name of the drill, Cascadia Rising. It's an exercise to address that very disaster. It's going to take place June 7th through June 10th of 2016. Where over 12,000 people participated. Uh, we've looked up on, online that they're doing refugee camps yeah. on, the east, on the east side of Washington. Um, we saw that scientists are, are continuing to do more research. On the on the west coast side of of, of United States, uh, you, if you live in California, you know that you had you guys just had a major quake, five point something, um, not too long ago that was like uh, shook a lot of people, and it's just little things like that. It just caused our concerns. We have two little ones. We have a, a four month old and a two year old, and it just really caused our attention. So we wanted to take the, the chance to do this video for everybody that's watching us on the west coast, even if you're not. On the west coast or in front of some other part of the world this can help you for any catastrophe and just to be ready for anything um, you never know what could hit or what can come your way and it's just better to be prepared and it's like that saying is better to be sorry i'm sorry it's better to be it's safe, safe than sorry and so we want to take this chance to do this video to kind of um, do a little tutorial on how to get ready for and how to prepare for a major uh, disaster even a terrorist attack something that can help you and you know survive for a couple of, of days or, or, or more and help you not only yourself but also help your family out. And the thing that alarms us is that this earthquake, uh, from what we've been hearing in, in, in the news and in, in YouTube channels, we'll put the links on, on, the, on this video so you can see the other videos that we're talking about. They're saying that once the quake hits, a huge tsunami is gonna hit. Yeah. And then not only that, but it's gonna be like, they're saying that it can be, it can, we can go on with months of no like light yep no phone um internet no internet yeah or so, any so no more vlogs can you believe it <laughs> oh, i know okay no more vlogs that's, how, that's the first thing i told my wife no internet no vlogs how are we gonna communicate with our with our viewers of youtube and how are we gonna communicate with our with our friends and that's the sad thing because a lot of people are gonna be disconnected from their family yeah a lot of people it's are just... disconnected from from anything i mean we can't post on Facebook, hey, we're safe or whatever, you know, it's just going to suck. 
And so we wanted to do a video where we we can help um, people that are watching us here in Oregon kind of get prepared for it. So we want to take the time to, to just go over a little bit on how you can be prepared. So a couple of things you're gonna need is um, if we're a family of we're for family of four, my wife and I and my two kids. So we decided we wanted to do like a, a backpack for each one of us. But I told my wife in the in the moment of the disaster, in the moment of, of you know panic and, and, and you don't know what to do, uh, especially <laughs> if she's alone or or if I'm alone with the kids or if we're home alone or something. And, and at that moment, your your like your brain goes into panic mode yeah. and you don't know what to do and all you get, you think about is just grab whatever's in front of you and start running out the door so i told my wife if we do like different backpacks for each one of us we're gonna forget one we're gonna leave one behind and and it's just gonna be like this huge mess and we're not, even, we're not gonna know what to do so we decided we we're just gonna do stick with one backpack and so we decided to get this kind of like duffel bag you can find these bags walmart has really cheap duffel bags uh, you can find, you know, you probably have one in your house laying around, an Adidas bag, a Nike bag, a Puma bag. You might be saying, oh, this is a huge bag. You know, can you carry that around? And, I, you know, I, I really have one huge bag where we can carry everything. They have yeah. separate bags. Yeah, and yeah. Jane trying to, and like, trying to put everything. the kids yeah. and the backpack. Yeah. It's going to be so, we, we, you know, this will be the best option. Now, if you're single and, and, you know, you're just by yourself, a backpack will work fine, just like a regular strap-on backpack. Or not great. kids, too. Oh, yeah, if so, you have kids, if you're kids. a couple that don't have kids, you can have a backpack <laughs> for each one of you guys. Um, but I'd re I, this will be highly recommended yeah. if you have a family uh, of a lot of kids. Uh, even if they're teenagers, they can probably still have their own backpack, but it still would be better to be prepared than not be prepared at all. So we got this huge backpack, and we're going to show you guys a little bit on what we want to put in here. A couple of things that we got. Um, first of all, I want to go out with the kids with the stuff for the kids. So we got a couple of the PediaSure uh, like shakes for the little one for Camille, who's a two-year-old. And these these are pretty, these are pretty much like a whole meal. Yep. If he drinks one of these, it's like he'll be filled up. It's just like eating a whole meal. Yep. So we have the baby. Uh, we also got just a, a small pack of diapers. <clears throat> um, is it what size is he right now? Um, he's born size three, but this one it's a one size bigger just because of the. Oh, Weight class? Yes. So, so just, just because you know if it's not happening right now, but in the future at least yeah. we have something. Yeah. And also was thinking, um, not only this ones, but they have the the washables um, diapers too that yeah. I want to find out. Yeah, you can get the washables We can we can we we run out of, out of this ones. You can you know put the other ones and just, you need to go to the river, just wash it up, let it dry, and another. By the way, this is these are our favorite brand of of diapers. We've tried Huggies, we tried uh, Pampers. And I don't know why some people don't like it, but we have had amazing results with these loves uh, with the little one and with our two-year-old who's not, no longer using um, diapers because he's fine trained. And we'll give you guys another tutorial later on how you guys can help your young ones get pie trained. But going back to what we were saying, so these will work out great for the little one. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. We got... Um, Put that with us for the house. Okay. <laughs> That's for another one. House. Our baby boy, who's four months old, uh, he's starting to, you know, eventually starting to get into like liquid so. foods and stuff, and and so we got him a little bit of, of cereal, uh, because the cool thing about this is you can make it with water. I would recommend also storing away um, like plastic cups, plastic forks, uh, plastic plates, uh, at something. least two. If it's a family of four, yeah. If it's a family of four, at least two. two. You know, or, or if you're by yourself, then one. You know, something that will help you, and you can eat, and you can use also. Uh, pots and pans that you're not using uh, you can find those even at like um, different stores you can find them to people have them to when they go camping and stuff you can store that away uh, and that can help you also in, in disaster if you have nowhere to go you can cook out outside and, and also since it's not going to be light there, uh, during that time uh, we're going to need to have some sort of uh, fire going and you're going to need the utensils to be able to cook your food there canned food is your best friend when you're going to be in, going through this whole disaster thing canned food is your best uh, bet so we got you know we got like the tuna uh, and also look for the ones that are, are not like dated to this year or, or next year um, at least, wait, well, at, least at least next year this one's dated all the way to 2018 you're gonna need a lot of canned food a lot of canned food is gonna help you canned fruits canned vegetables uh, chili beans vegetable soups uh, you know beans frijoles um, uh, you know all kinds of stuff that you need canned that don't also, expire. Um, what is it called? Dry milk? Like yeah, dry milk, like the one we have here, which is somewhere around here. I wanna show you guys. Um, 
also like cookies will help you out a lot too. Uh, cookies, we got cereal. Oh, every college person's best friend, Top Ramen. We need this. Yeah, that will also work out. Because it's easy to cook, you just need um, hot water. And yeah. Oil, because uh, you don't need to cook it with also, but also, uh, you know that oil is flammable as well, so that can also work as a, so, so, you know, a, a, something of a fire starter as well. We found these at, um, at our local dollar store, and I want to tell you guys, some of these things that we're talking about here, you can get them at your dollar store. You can get them at your convenience store, and it's not that expensive. Yeah. The most we probably spend on this whole $30. bag that we're putting together is like thirty dollars. That's including water, food for at least I gotta say food for at least seven or or more days. Yeah. Uh, we got these um, milk that's not you know it's 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 good all the way till April two thousand seventeen. We got it in a whole milk. We got it in, in two percent milk. Uh, we got cereals that are just literally um, individually packaged. This one has been opened already. Sorry. So this, we have that one. Um, it's supposed to be for the, the disaster, but my wife, I guess, just she had an emergency. Uh, also, obviously, ladies out there, pads. Uh, or tampons if you use those. I don't know any of that, so listen to her about that. I would also recommend you guys uh, getting into a lot of like uh, protein stuff, protein bars if you can get protein, protein bars, shakes. protein shakes, like even the powders you can make with water, oatmeal, dry oatmeal, so you can make it as well. A lot of things uh, that will help you know survive through that catastrophe and and, and said, if you need to. Oh, that's the number one thing. Yeah, I know a lot of a lot of parents have little ones that can they probably get Gerber's and stuff. That can also help um, you know in an adult. Oh, so if yeah. you have a lot of Gerber's, put them away, store them away. Don't give them to friends or anything like that. Just save them. And I know a lot of people may think, oh, you know, it's just too. You guys are probably believing too much the media, what the internet says, or what's going but on. That's something that they need to understand. We don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen yep. because it's all over the news. Even um, I guess you say the White House already knows about yeah, it. White House just, over. Didn't you say they were moving? Like they were moving. From what I heard in the news, and I'll put it, I'm gonna put the link of the stuff so you guys can say know that we're not making this up. I'm gonna put the link on, on our video description so you guys can follow the other videos of what they talk about. And also, as you were mentioning uh, on the east side of Washington, they're doing. The refugee oh, camps, yes. yeah, like and that's saying. happening. Yeah. So, with well, that being said, that's just our food bag. Now, we do want to also let you guys know, um, you know this could happen at any time of the year. It could happen during the summertime. Yeah, right. I know. It could happen during the winter time. And here in Oregon, we we go through some really harsh winter sometimes. So, uh, aside from the food bag itself and, and how to maintain yourself, you know, fed throughout these next for this whatever days it takes. Um, we recommend you store also clothes away, you know, the extra pair of pants, uh, shoes, boots, uh, especially if it's an earthquake, there's going to be debris or stuff all over the ground, so boots will be the best option. Jacket. What, what do you want to tell them? You want to tell something? Okay, yeah, baby baby clothes. Yeah, I got it. Extra baby clothes. Uh, if you know you're yeah. going you're gonna to need that extra baby clothes. Uh, yep, yeah. extra uh, extra clothes for, for, like, for a little one. Um, I would just recommend... Extra clothes that will last you for you know three, four, or five days. Sleeping bags, covers, everything that will that will let you, let you literally survive for the next couple of days. The thing that alarmed us the most was uh, in some of the, the articles we read and even some of the videos that we saw is that uh, it will take at least two to three weeks for the government, for the like the, the National Guard from the from FEMA, for any kind of help, any kind of aid, Red Cross to get to the affected area. Uh, and, and it's just, and it's just, you know, instead of waiting for that, it's better to be prepared. It's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, uh, it's just three big states that they need to go over, yeah. and I, I believe that they're gonna go where the major um, disaster is at, yeah. like Portland, Seattle. Yeah. So, I mean, if, for example, us here in Eugene, it will take a few days or weeks to get um, yeah. help from them. Yeah. So, you know, get a big. If you're a family of four. Uh, or more, get a big duffel bag. If you're a single person or a single couple, uh, two bags for you guys will be great. Uh, stuff it with a lot of food that you guys know is food that will help you maintain yourself uh, protein wise, canned food, cookies, uh, you know, jerky, stuff that will help you throughout those, those days. Uh, save lots of water. If you have little ones, make sure you think ahead of for them, gas. Uh, gas, if you have gas, gasoline will work also, you know, help you to start a fire, lighters, matches, candles, lanterns, flashlights, batteries, everything you need for a disaster, 
saving you guys. Uh, don't think of it as, a, as something as, oh, you know, the news always talks about it, but it's not going to happen. It could happen, and it's better to be uh, prepared than get you um, get, catch you by surprise. Come up with a plan. Uh, be prepared with your, with your friends and your family to know, especially with your family, to know if, for example, if, if I'm not here, my wife already knows what she's going to do. If she's not here, I already know what we're going to do. Uh, you know, if we're all together, we already know what the plan is. So come up with a good plan that will help you meet all together. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. It, uh, like I said, it was a little bit different from what we do. We just wanted to get informed with you guys. On the description, we have the links to the other videos that talk about this mega quake. The articles that have talked about this, even the article about the drill for the uh, state of Washington they just did. Uh, and then, and, you know, be prepared, be ready. It could happen at any moment. And even if it's not, you're not being affected by the earthquake, still be prepared for anything because, you know, there's a lot of things that have been said and, 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 and you never know what could happen in your side of, and of, of the state. About all, about all the preparations and everything that's going on, one thing is trust God. Yeah. And just pray a lot that we can go through this and be safe because this is coming, the big one is Yeah, coming. and so we just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we wanted to show you guys how you can be prepared and, and be safe. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We are over 400 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for following us. Thank you for, for, for liking our, our Facebook page. If you haven't, I'm going to put the link on the bottom. Also, our Instagram page. If you haven't followed us, we'll put it on the description as well. Uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Woo, buddy. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. If you found this informative, then also share it with people that you know of. If you are in the Northwest region, like I said, be prepared. Share it with everybody you know. Thank you guys. Don't forget to click the like button, comment uh, what you guys liked about this video, or any ideas you guys think that we might have forgotten for the uh, for this emergency bag, or, or if you have any other stuff you want, you think we should add to this, uh, let us know. Thank you, and hasta mañana. Or actually, hasta Monday, because we won't put up another video until Monday. So remember, every Monday morning, every Thursday morning, there's a new video coming out. So, bye, bye. guys.